China has unveiled its latest advancement in military aviation, a supersonic fighter jet that has sent shockwaves through global defense circles. This state-of-the-art aircraft is not just a testament to China's growing prowess in aeronautics, but also a bold statement of its intent to solidify its position as a dominant force in the global military hierarchy. The jet, which has been under development for several years, represents the culmination of significant investments in research, technology, and strategic military planning. As nations around the world scramble to assess the implications of this new fighter jet, it is clear that China's ambitions extend far beyond its regional borders, aiming for a significant influence on global security dynamics. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. At the heart of this new supersonic fighter jet is a suite of advanced technologies that push the boundaries of what is currently possible in modern aviation. The aircraft is reported to be capable of reaching speeds exceeding Mach 2, which allows it to outpace most current fighter jets and missiles. This incredible speed is facilitated by a combination of next-generation propulsion systems, lightweight composite materials, and cutting-edge aerodynamic design. The jet's engines are a key feature, incorporating thrust vectoring technology that allows for extreme maneuverability at high speeds. This gives the fighter an edge in dogfights, where the ability to quickly change direction can be the difference between victory and defeat. Moreover, the jet's stealth capabilities are said to rival those of the most advanced aircraft in the world, including the American F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. Using radar-absorbing materials and an innovative airframe design, the jet minimizes its radar cross-section, making it difficult for enemy radar systems to detect and track. The introduction of this supersonic fighter jet into China's military arsenal has significant strategic implications both regionally and globally. For years, the United States and its allies have maintained a technological edge in the realm of air superiority, largely thanks to their advanced stealth fighters and extensive experience in aerial combat operations. However, China's new fighter jet threatens to disrupt this balance, challenging the dominance of Western air forces and forcing a re-evaluation of global military strategies. Regionally, China's neighbors, particularly those involved in territorial disputes in the South China Sea, will be most immediately affected. The ability to deploy a fleet of these advanced jets could shift the power dynamics in the region, giving China a formidable tool to assert its claims and deter foreign intervention. For countries like Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan, the introduction of this new aircraft presents a significant challenge to their national security and may prompt them to accelerate their own military modernization programs. Globally, the debut of China's supersonic fighter jet will likely trigger a response from other major military powers. The United States, Russia, and European nations may feel compelled to develop new technologies and strategies to counter this emerging threat. The potential for an arms race, particularly in the realm of aerial combat and missile defense systems, looms large as these nations seek to maintain or regain their strategic advantages. The road to developing this supersonic fighter jet has been long and arduous, marked by years of research, testing, and refinement. China's aviation industry, once considered lagging behind its Western counterparts, has made extraordinary strides over the past two decades. This progress is the result of a concerted effort by the Chinese government to invest heavily in aerospace research and development, coupled with strategic partnerships and technology transfers from other nations. The jet's development likely involved collaboration between several state-owned enterprises, including the Aviation Industry Corporation of China, AVC, and the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, KSC. These organizations have been at the forefront of China's push to advance its aerospace capabilities, leveraging both domestic talent and international expertise. Over the years, China has also made significant efforts to reverse engineer and improve upon foreign technologies, a practice that has undoubtedly contributed to the rapid advancement seen in this new fighter jet. Testing and refinement phases were critical in ensuring that the jet met the high standards required for modern combat. These stages likely involved extensive wind tunnel testing, computer simulations, and prototype flights. Throughout this process, Chinese engineers would have had to overcome numerous technical challenges, particularly in achieving the desired balance between speed, stealth, and maneuverability. 
The successful unveiling of the jet indicates that these hurdles have been surmounted and that China is now capable of producing a fighter aircraft on par with the world's best. The geopolitical ramifications of China's new supersonic fighter jet extend far beyond the military sphere. The introduction of this advanced aircraft is likely to influence global alliances and power dynamics, particularly in regions where China's influence is already on the rise. Countries that are closely aligned with China may view this development as a positive reinforcement of their strategic partnerships, while those in opposition may see it as a cause for concern. In Southeast Asia, where China's territorial ambitions have led to increased tensions with its neighbors, the deployment of this fighter jet could exacerbate existing conflicts. Nations like Vietnam and the Philippines, which have contested China's claims in the South China Sea, may feel increasingly threatened by the presence of a supersonic fighter jet capable of striking deep into their territory. This could lead to a realignment of regional alliances, with some countries seeking closer ties with the United States or other powers as a counterbalance to China's growing military might. On a broader scale, China's new fighter jet may also impact its relationships with major global powers. The United States, in particular, may view this development as a direct challenge to its military supremacy and could respond by bolstering its presence in Asia or accelerating the development of its next-generation fighter jets. Similarly, Russia, which has traditionally been a key supplier of advanced military technology to China, may find itself in a more competitive relationship with its Asian neighbor as China continues to develop its own indigenous capabilities. The development and production of a supersonic fighter jet is an extraordinarily expensive endeavor, involving vast financial resources, skilled labor, and cutting-edge technology. For China, the investment in this project reflects its broader economic strategy, which aims to position the country as a global leader in high-tech industries, including aerospace and defense. The economic implications of this new fighter jet are multifaceted. On one hand, the successful development of the aircraft demonstrates China's growing industrial capabilities and its ability to produce world-class military hardware. This achievement is likely to bolster the reputation of Chinese defense contractors on the international stage, potentially leading to increased arms exports and greater economic influence in global defense markets. On the other hand, the cost of developing and maintaining a fleet of supersonic fighter jets is immense. This raises questions about the long-term sustainability of China's military expansion, particularly in the context of broader economic challenges. While China's economy remains robust, it faces significant pressures, including slowing growth, an aging population, and mounting debt. Balancing the financial demands of a high-tech military with these economic challenges will be a critical task for Chinese policymakers in the years to come. When comparing China's new supersonic fighter jet to its international counterparts, several key factors come into play, including speed, stealth, maneuverability, and firepower. The jet's ability to reach speeds exceeding Mach 2 places it among the fastest fighter aircraft in the world, rivaling the American F-22 Raptor and the Russian Su-57. Its stealth capabilities, although not fully disclosed, are believed to be on par with or even superior to those of the F-35 Lightning II thanks to the use of advanced materials and design techniques. In terms of maneuverability, the jet's thrust vectoring technology gives it a significant advantage in close quarters combat, allowing it to perform tight turns and rapid changes in direction that would be impossible for conventional aircraft. This feature, combined with its high speed, makes the jet a formidable opponent in dogfights, where split-second reactions can determine the outcome of an engagement. The jet's firepower is also a crucial consideration. While specific details about its armament have not been released, it is likely equipped with a range of advanced missiles and bombs, including air-to-air, air-to-ground, and anti-ship weapons. This versatility allows the jet to perform a wide range of missions, from air superiority and ground attack to maritime strike operations. The integration of advanced avionics and targeting systems further enhances its combat effectiveness, enabling it to engage multiple targets simultaneously with high precision. Beyond its tactical capabilities, China's new supersonic fighter jet serves a broader strategic purpose as a tool of deterrence. By developing and deploying such an advanced aircraft, 
China is sending a clear message to potential adversaries. It is prepared to defend its interests with the most advanced technology available. This message is particularly important in the context of China's ongoing territorial disputes and its ambitions to expand its influence in regions like the South China Sea and the Taiwan Strait. The jet's role in strategic deterrence is not limited to its direct combat capabilities. Its very existence serves as a psychological deterrent, making potential adversaries think twice before engaging in military actions that could provoke a response from China. This deterrent effect is enhanced by the fact that the jet is likely to be part of a broader modernization of China's air force, which includes the development of other advanced aircraft, drones, and missile systems. Beyond traditional combat scenarios, China's new supersonic fighter jet is likely to be equipped with Advanced Electronic Warfare EW, systems. These systems can interfere with enemy radar, communications, and missile guidance systems, effectively blinding and confusing opponents during engagements. This capability is particularly relevant in the modern battle space, where control over the electromagnetic spectrum can often dictate the outcome of military confrontations. By integrating EW capabilities into its new jet, China ensures that it can dominate not just the physical, but also the electronic aspects of warfare, adding another layer to its strategic deterrence. The strategic implications of China's supersonic fighter jet also extend to nuclear deterrence. While the primary role of this aircraft is likely focused on conventional warfare, its speed, stealth, and advanced avionics could potentially allow it to be adapted for nuclear strike missions. This dual-use capability would align with China's broader military doctrine, which emphasizes flexibility and the ability to respond to a wide range of threats. Even if not directly equipped with nuclear weapons, the jet could play a critical role in ensuring the survivability and effectiveness of China's nuclear deterrent by escorting strategic bombers or launching decoys to overwhelm enemy defenses. The operational flexibility of China's new supersonic fighter jet is one of its most significant strengths. Designed to operate in a variety of environments and mission profiles, this aircraft is likely to be a key component of China's Air Force for decades to come. Whether deployed in air superiority roles, ground attack missions, or maritime strike operations, the jet's combination of speed, stealth, and firepower allows it to excel in each of these scenarios. In air superiority missions, the jet's primary role would be to establish control over the skies, engaging and defeating enemy aircraft. Its high speed and advanced sensors would allow it to detect and intercept enemy jets long before they pose a threat, while its maneuverability and EW capabilities would give it the edge in dogfights. The jet's stealth features would also make it difficult for enemies to detect or target, allowing it to operate with a high degree of impunity in contested airspace. In ground attack missions, the jet's versatility becomes even more apparent. Equipped with precision-guided munitions, it can strike enemy ground forces, infrastructure, and command centers with pinpoint accuracy, minimizing collateral damage and maximizing the effectiveness of each sortie. Its ability to fly at supersonic speeds allows it to penetrate deep into enemy territory, strike targets, and return to base before enemy defenses can react. This rapid strike capability is crucial in modern warfare, where the ability to deliver decisive blows in a short amount of time can often determine the outcome of a conflict. The jet's potential role in maritime strike operations is also significant. With tensions rising in the South China Sea and other maritime regions, the ability to project air power over vast ocean areas is increasingly important for China. The jet's long range, combined with its ability to carry anti-ship missiles and other maritime strike weapons, makes it a formidable tool for controlling strategic waterways and deterring enemy naval forces. This capability would be especially valuable in scenarios where China seeks to assert its territorial claims or protect its maritime trade routes. The introduction of such an advanced fighter jet into China's Air Force necessitates a corresponding evolution in training and tactics. Pilots selected to fly this aircraft must undergo rigorous training programs that prepare them for the demands of high-speed, high-stakes aerial combat. This training is likely to involve a combination of simulator-based instruction, live flight exercises, and joint operations with other branches of the military. Simulator training is particularly important for pilots of supersonic jets, as it allows them to experience the extreme speeds and maneuvers of the aircraft in a controlled environment. 
Advanced simulators can replicate the complex scenarios that pilots might face in combat, including dogfights, electronic warfare, and coordinated strikes with ground and naval forces. By mastering these scenarios in the simulator, pilots can build the muscle memory and decision-making skills necessary to operate effectively in real-world missions. Live flight exercises, on the other hand, provide pilots with the opportunity to apply their training in actual flight conditions. These exercises are likely to be conducted in a variety of environments, from the deserts of western China to the coastal regions near the South China Sea. By training in diverse conditions, pilots can learn to adapt to the challenges of different terrains, weather conditions, and enemy tactics. This adaptability is crucial for ensuring that the new jet can perform effectively in any combat scenario. Tactically, the introduction of the supersonic fighter jet may lead to a shift in China's broader military strategies. Traditionally, China's air force has focused on defending its own airspace and supporting ground operations. However, the capabilities of this new jet may allow China to adopt a more offensive posture, projecting air power beyond its borders and engaging enemy forces on their own territory. This shift could be part of a broader strategy to deter potential adversaries by demonstrating China's ability to strike quickly and decisively in any theater of conflict. The international community's reaction to China's new supersonic fighter jet has been mixed, reflecting the complex geopolitical landscape in which this development is taking place. For some nations, particularly those with close ties to China, the unveiling of the jet is seen as a positive step that reinforces China's role as a global leader in advanced technology. These countries may view the jet as a symbol of China's growing strength and a potential deterrent against aggression from other powers. For others, however, the introduction of this advanced fighter jet is cause for concern. In the United States and its allies, there is growing apprehension about the implications of China's military advancements particularly in the context of existing tensions in the Asia-Pacific region. The jet's capabilities, combined with China's expanding military presence in the South China Sea and its assertive stance on Taiwan, are seen as part of a broader strategy to challenge U.S. influence in the region and potentially alter the balance of power. In Europe, reactions have been more measured, with many countries recognizing the need to engage with China while also expressing concerns about its military ambitions. European nations, particularly those with advanced aerospace industries like France and the United Kingdom, may see the unveiling of the jet as a sign that they need to invest more in their own defense capabilities. At the same time, these countries are likely to continue pursuing diplomatic and economic ties with China, balancing their security concerns with the need to maintain constructive relations. Russia's response to China's new fighter jet is particularly interesting given the historical ties between the two countries in the field of military technology. While Russia has been a major supplier of advanced aircraft to China in the past, the development of this new jet may signal a shift in the relationship. On one hand, Russia might view China's advancements as a positive development that strengthens their strategic partnership. On the other hand, there could be concerns about competition in the global arms market as China becomes increasingly capable of producing its own advanced military hardware. Within China, the unveiling of the new supersonic fighter jet is likely to be met with a strong sense of national pride. This aircraft represents not just a technological achievement, but also a symbol of China's rise as a global power. For many Chinese citizens, the jet's development is a source of pride and a tangible demonstration of the country's ability to compete with the world's leading military powers. The Chinese government is likely to capitalize on this sentiment, using the jet's unveiling as part of a broader political messaging campaign. By showcasing its military advancements, the government can reinforce the narrative of China's peaceful rise and its determination to protect its sovereignty and national interests. This messaging is particularly important in the context of domestic politics, where the government seeks to maintain support among a population that is increasingly aware of global affairs and China's role on the world stage. The unveiling of the jet also serves as a way to bolster the legitimacy of the ruling Communist Party by demonstrating its ability to deliver on its promises of modernization and national rejuvenation. In a country where technological and military advancements are often linked to national strength, the successful development of the jet is likely to be portrayed as a victory for the party's leadership and its vision for China's future. At the same time, 
The government may use the jet's unveiling to send a message to potential domestic critics. By emphasizing the need for a strong and modern military, the government can justify its significant investments in defense spending and its focus on military modernization. This messaging is likely to be particularly important in the context of economic challenges, as the government seeks to maintain public support for its policies while addressing issues such as slowing growth and rising inequality. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, how will this impact global military technology? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.